So I've ordered something online and it's been delayed. So I did what any reasonable person would do. I tried to track it down. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring a portion of this video. Okay, so here's the situation. I ordered a sofa online in July and it still hasn't arrived. So I emailed the company to figure out what was happening and they said, interesting they're having supply chain issues. What the heck is a supply chain problem? Because now it's my problem. And I did what any reasonable person would do. But before I can do that, I need to figure out what is a supply chain and why does it have problems? I don't want peace. I want problems. I interrupt this research montage to tell you that there is nothing about actual supply chains on the internet other than just defining what a supply chain is. This is the hardest piece of research that I've had to do. In all of my research, it was pretty easy to find what a supply chain was. But after some digging, I was able to figure out what exactly made supply chains so complicated. A supply chain is basically a connected system of organizations, activities, and resources designed to source, produce, and move goods from their origin to their final destination. It's the process that brings all the materials together to build my sofa, and then gets it from the factory all the way to my doorstep. A supply chain is a type of complex system. Complex systems can be difficult to understand and control because the complexity leads to limited predictability. Complex systems are usually self-organizing. This means that those that are part of the system are operating without central control. Each individual in the system operates under a set of rules that add up to become the complete system. No one individual within that system has control or can see the entirety of the system. This means that small events, such as truck drivers falling ill or supply materials temporarily slowing down, can lead to large and sudden effects. For example, the slowing of materials can mean that sofas are not built in time for ships. This means that they need to be put in storage to wait for the next free slot on a shipping container. If things like this change, pressure can build up and erupt suddenly, causing unexpected disruption in other parts of the system. Suddenly, a one-day delay in timber delivery becomes a six-week delay to the final product. Here, things can compound and spin out of control. It becomes a problem that's more complex than just solving the initial issue, and the whole process cannot be stopped for maintenance, so any fixes need to be made as the system continues to run. Okay, so supply chains are complex systems, and complex systems can have a lot of different things happening and everything happening at the same time and one thing can go wrong and everything goes wrong and all of this stuff happens and things are all moving and everything's different and blah. Where is my sofa though? I have a trade offer for you. You give me my sofa, I give you jo my joy. Okay, so I get it because we have been experiencing sort of unexpected events over the last year or two and you know, these have been pretty non-standard occurrences. It's been un unprecedented times. We're living in unprecedented times. Thank you for reading my email. So the next part of this fever dream of a video is for me to try and track down my sofa and the specific supply chain that it would have gone through. Let's figure out where it came from, where it's going, where'd it go? Cotton Eye Joe, let's do it. Okay, so I have done a little bit of digging through my emails to figure out what I already know based on the information that they have already given me. They've sent me these emails that basically keep saying, we're getting ready to dispatch your order. The following product is now due to arrive at our distribution center soon and ready for dispatch. There seems to be something going on pre-getting to the distribution center, which I believe is in the UK based on another email that I got. That email says that we've set up new distribution centers to speed up dispatches and reduce lead time. Did a bit of Googling to figure out where these dispatch centers are and yes, it seems like they are in the UK. Something is going on before it hits the UK. Okay, so it's been some time has passed. I have read some of their internal reports. The company that I ordered from seems to work on a just-in-time production schedule rather than them sitting with lots of product in warehouses that could potentially not be used. It's like a Starbucks, but more than making it, it's like you order a caramel frappuccino and then they go find the beans. It seems, because it's been taking half a year. Most of their stuff is being shipped on these big boats. Remember the big boats in the, in the, in the canal? So my sofa could have been 
on Big Boat. Big Boat, small sofa, get lost. Okay, so you might be wondering why are you so obsessed with this sofa? Now let me tell you, when the sofa arrives, my life's problems will be Because over. six months ago, I moved into this room and I thought, you know what, I'll get a sofa bed so that I can make videos in here and have lots of floor space and also have a place to sleep. But guess what, I have a hole. Also, speaking of holes, so that people can stop commenting on these random holes in my wall, because once the sofa arrives, I can fill these holes and I can paint the wall. Because even though I've seen it on the website, I can't guarantee that the color will match the paint. And because I can't find the paint, and I wanna paint the walls before I build myself a table and a, and a lighting setup and a YouTube setup and all of this stuff. Also, so I can find a nice lampshade that matches my sofa so I stop living in a room that looks like a prison. So currently I'm just sitting in this weird transitory period. So instead of dealing with my problems and just doing things that I can do into small manageable chunks, I'm waiting for my sofa and also trying to track it down. I am now deep in it. I am on LinkedIn. Looking at the company employee database to try and figure out where people are located and what their job descriptions are. It seems like the people that they're sourcing the furniture from is based in China, basically. I kind of got a little bit more confirmation from this because I was able to find dupes of my sofa on like wholesale warehousing sites in China. I'm considering maybe messaging some of these people on LinkedIn. Uh, I don't think anyone at the company wants to speak to me for my little YouTube video. We'll see. Probably nothing. But before we get to that, let's talk about this video sponsor, Shopify. Shopify offers an easy to use all-in-one commerce platform for anyone regardless of technical ability. They help you with the tools to start, grow, and manage a business. They let you sell online, in person, and on all major social media platforms. Shopify support businesses along their entire journey from their first sale all the way to a full-scale business. Shopify are committed to giving entrepreneurs the resources that are normally reserved for big business. I mean, in this video, we've talked so much about supply chains and their complexity, and it can be difficult to manage your own supply chain as a small business. That's why Shopify offers a fulfillment network that helps you pick, pack, and ship orders so you can spend more time managing your business. Shopify are committed to breaking down the barriers to entrepreneurship by providing banking for the unbanked and making fast fulfillment affordable. That's why we were so excited to work with Shopify on this video. I mean, the whole reason that we started Answer in Progress was so that we can make videos and pursue our dreams independently. And Shopify helps millions of people do that across the world. You can find out more about Shopify and what they can do for you at shopify.com slash answer in progress. And now back to the video. Hello, welcome to a very well-adjusted man researches why his sofa is late. The post-it note presentation. Okay, so here is what I found about my sofa. It's very complicated and also this is just the tip of the iceberg. So basically there are three different main stages of the supply chain. One is the resources and supplying of the, the materials and then there is the production and then there is the shipping. The company that I actually ordered it from is mainly a shipping company that orders from from other suppliers, but also those suppliers have their own supply chains and other logistics that are interacting with the supply chain that the company that I ordered from manages themselves. Okay, so what went wrong? Let's figure it out. Before the unprecedented times, there was an increase in demand because more and more people were getting comfortable with the idea of ordering furniture online. And then the unprecedented times happened, boom. And that caused a lot of different effects on all three of the things. Increased demand also happened because of the work from home that was happening. Um, there needs to be more arrows. The COVID impact caused a labor shortage because of lots of people who couldn't work from home becoming sick, but that did affect my sofa because the labor supply shortage meant that there was less people to do sourcing and materials, there was less people to produce the sofas, and there was less people to go shipping for the sofas. But there was more than that because the labor shortage was also impacted by the Brexit trade agreements. So things were changing and our labor supply and the way we did labor before in the UK was changing as well. and that meant that there was also some labor shortages and that labor shortage also increased freight costs and shipping timelines and that is over here and that has also been impacted by the covid restrictions because now it's more costly to move things and compounded with the covid restrictions and the labor shortage and the brexit trade agreements you have the uk fuel crisis now there's a crisis in fuel which means that you can't ship things you can't put lorries on the roads to get the sofa from the ports to me which means 
that there is port congestion. Now that there's port congestion, that means that the COVID impact means that the port congestion, there's already all of the stuff to be the COVID in ports, but then now there's a UK fuel crisis, which means all of the lorries are stuck at the ports because there's no fuel. And now because of that, the sofa can't be shipped to the port because the ports are full. So you can't put the more sofas on the port. There's so many sofas in the port. There's so many sofas at the port that that means that my sofa has to sit on a ship somewhere, which means that the costs are increasing or they have to stay in a warehouse. And that warehouse is somewhere else, like in the production place. And so that means that they can't produce more sofas because all of their warehouses are being used to store the sofas because of the ports. Also, we don't really know exactly what the COVID impact is long run. And so there might be some supply chain things that I don't know about because I am not an expert in supply chains and just kind of tried to figure it out. This is what I came up with. Please clap. Hi, so I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is my sofa arrived. I'm on my sofa. I just uh, assembled it and here it is. I'm on my sofa, just me and my sofa hanging out. Don't talk to me on my sofa ever again. Now the bad news is I basically have no idea how it got here or where it was. Just another AIP video, I guess. So yeah, my sofa arrived. Here I am on my sofa, just chilling, just maxing, relaxing. I mean, I don't even know how to end this video. Like, I'm just so happy about my sofa that I'm just sort of like, supply chains, they work, they happened. Okay, so after all of that struggle, my sofa just arrived. Kind of unceremoniously because it just arrived and some guy was like, here's your package. And sort of just put it in the living room, which, you know, I've been waiting six months for this. I wanted some sort of fanfare, you know, maybe a, maybe some confetti, something. Um, but no, I didn't get anything. Throughout this whole experience, what I really started to appreciate was the complexity of the system that moves things around and gets things to us. The whole package shipping industry is a logistical nightmare. I mean, I found out just by trying to figure out where my package was and what type of problems that it could face. But also on top of that, thinking about systems and how they interact, opened a whole Pandora's box of thinking about the world and how different things interact with each other, the causality of things, and also how to think about complex problems. It also got me to appreciate how costly and time consuming it must be to do free shipping and next day delivery. I think before this experience, like many people, I might have found that next day delivery is sort of a given and it's kind of seen as the norm or expectation nowadays, particularly free shipping. But now if I see a small business or an independent artist tell me that something's gonna take six weeks to ship, I think I'm just a lot more appreciative of how complex shipping really is and I'm okay with it. I think that the world of next day delivery and free shipping are kind of unsustainable and are ways that huge businesses can offer things to consumers and get them comfortable in a way that makes them monopolize industries really easily. And after learning so much about supply chains and supply chain management, I think that I have a newly found appreciation for well, small businesses trying their best and getting you product as fast as they can. So yeah, if you are ordering something online from a small business or an independent artist, go easy on the shipping because shipping is a real cost that businesses take. And I think we're trending towards an appetite in consumers for this free shipping and next day delivery that can be really unfriendly towards new businesses, independent artists, and just normal people trying to ship things. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like that's probably not the best attitude to have towards shipping. I feel like I've sort of looked through the looking glass and understood how complex the system is. And, and now I'm like, hey man, if you are just trying to ship some stuff, and it's gonna take a couple days, no problem. Although I will say, I'm glad my sofa's here. Thank you for watching me slowly descend into madness while my sofa gets shipped to me. This has probably been the most interesting video to film for me, so I hope you liked it. If you do want to support the channel, we do have a Patreon where you can support us, and we also have a free newsletter with exclusives and other fun stuff, so that'll be in the description as well. Otherwise, thank you for watching. From my sofa.